Yeah, so today for the hands-on session, uh, I will mostly just try to set up um, the, um, the, 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 the workflow for tomorrow. And we'll talk more about uh, the interactions uh, tomorrow uh, in, in their uh, terms of hands-on. So first I would like you to go to this web page on the GitHub page where I have this, uh, all the handout for the hands-on session. So basically we'll follow the instruction there to go one step by step uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of hands-on and trying to, trying to help you to get familiar with how to use a hydrodynamic module inside JSCape. So let me first set up the, uh, need to, uh, somehow, oops, I click, thought I clicked on wrong button. So do you know how I can share the whole screen instead of um, instead of just a one? Oh man, um, it depends on the settings, and if you can't, yeah, uh, right now I, I I can do it on my local one, but I don't know how to do it here. I see your folder, so I see I I see your. I see a folder with assets and index.html. So I think you may be sharing the full screen. Oh. Can you see, can you see the terminal? No. All right. So, uh, Let's see. okay. Let me just share the terminal, maybe, um, that's better to, to just show you the, but essentially, essentially, I want to do that together with the slide to the notes side by side. But you can you can open your note on the on your screen to to follow where I am. So can you see me? Can you see my sorry? We see a white screen now. And now your terminal. Can you see my yeah, can you see my terminal? Yes. So let me let us start. Let us start with the start with the Jetscape Docker folders. So we go to the Jetscape build folder where you actually build uh, um, your your executables. Uh, last time from the hands-on session. Um, so today uh, we need to do, uh, yes, uh, in addition to what uh, is uh, done last time is um, that uh, we want to also have the capability to open a Jupyter notebook inside the Docker. So if you scroll down to the, uh, to the command on the notes on the website, you will find that uh, there's a command um, uh, to open a Docker uh, in Linux and the Mac, um, so you, with with the Docker support or with the Jupyter Notebook support, so you can copy paste the command into your browser. Oh, sorry, into your into your command line, um, which uh, which is showing basically here for Linux on my on my on my to, on my terminal. So so the additional thing you need to put in is this dash p eight 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 common eight 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 in in there. So when, when you hit enter, you will enter into a Docker container, uh, which, which will have this uh, capability.
So, so for my uh, for my previous for my previous few um, comments in the notes, it's basically to help you to make sure that you have the you have already download music and also the ISS module, and also successfully compiled with the JustGate module, as as we did the exercise uh, to um, yesterday. So if you have complete that, you can just uh, uh, follow uh, the last step in the in the notes. If not, you can go through the go through the current notes and going through this exercise, and then then typing all these uh, commands to to basically uh, make the make the program as the way we want. So if you have already finished that, you can basically do the last step, which is basically copy the material, the hands-on material from the hydrodynamic session uh, from the school 2022 to the build folder. Oh, sorry, you, you need to first go to the build folder. So first go to the build folder. And then we want to copy, we want to copy this, uh, this uh, school materials into this uh, build folder as the setup. So I'll wait here until you guys have uh, that done. So you will see that uh, inside the build folder, you will have the school sessions uh, folder there present. So Chun, do you want to have people click the yes button? Yeah, you can um, maybe generate, yeah, you can generate a poll for that. I can wait for that. Let's, uh, we, it won't be a full process. poll, but if you click yes when you're done and no if, you, if it didn't work or if you um, need a little more time. Yeah, just make sure you are inside just get build folder and do that. So we'll, we'll all work in the JustGate build folder today. There was a question about the link to GitHub. Did you, Utam, did you get this already? Or? Uh, that was in the pinned uh, session in the Slack. You can find in the pinned item, the link. The yeses are ticking up, but we still have 37 to 3, and we have 142 people on. So if you if you have a error saying that you no know, file directories is mostly that uh, uh, first check you are inside the build folder that in the JSK build folder and then do that copy. If you still have the error, means that uh, you need to update the school material or where you put the summer school directory uh, in there. We are at 56 to 3. Um, it's hard to tell how many people are actively mm -hmm. participating instead of just watching. So I'm going to ask again that if you don't have this done yet, please go to participants um, and click either yes or no. So that if you're not done yet, click no so we can see that you're at least trying. Mm -hmm. 
And as that is, as I said that we ended up with 11 no's, 12 no's and 62 mm -hmm. yeses. So there are people still trying to get it done. And there's some active discussion on the Slack as well, where people are helping each other troubleshoot. Yeah, just be clear that we are, <clears throat> I'm at this session, so here. Enter the Docker container and do this. So if you already did the, the few steps before yesterday, so you just need to do the last step. And then after that, you should be able to see the, in the build folder, and if you list, you should see a hydro session inside the folder. We're at 69 to 12. And 70 to 13. I don't know if the, the, the no's are not going down, but the total number of people responding are going up. So I guess that's good. Let me remind people when you're writing stuff on Slack, it's really helpful if you're responding to a message to respond um, to the thread, you can do this by um, mousing near the top of the mouse, hovering your mouse near the top of the, um, the comment. And then there's a conversation bubble and it's, it's for replying to the thread and that makes it easier to follow the discussion. Uh, let me switch to my terminal. So the nose are kind of static. So maybe it makes sense to, to move on because it looks like the majority of people have finished. We're at mm -hmm. 75 to 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you haven't finished, it's still the, all the commands are on the notes. So you can basically follow the web page and then just start from scratch. Maybe it's the easiest way to, to, to get all the things done instead of getting from the middle. So for the one that actually has uh, finished uh, uh, the, the part, uh, let's, uh, let me switch to the Zoom, to the Chrome again. So what I'll do today is basically this test run. So just to do a test run uh, with music. So as you can see, I'm a fan of uh, Dragon Ball. So I will indicate the level Goku as the level of task is doing. So today we'll basically do is a very basic task. And then tomorrow we'll go to Super Saiyan and other things for more complicated uh, tasks we would like to do. So for the simple test, uh, test run, so what I like to do is basically uh, using this command to do a test runs with the test uh, test run XML in the in, in already in the in the hydro session uh, folder. So you can basically type in um, this this command uh, to run the simulation with music. So you can copy paste this command. If you already know if you are now already inside these build folders, uh, you don't need to do the first one, but you can now type this into the into the into a terminal. So now if I go to my terminal, I can just uh, copy paste this, uh, this command and hit enter. So now it will actually run the Jetscape with music uh, in there and also Trento. So initially we'll see that uh, 
the trend tool will actually run to generate uh, some centrality table to select the centrality we would like to do for the later collisions. And the later on, once you have the scene installed, you will have the music running properly. And you will see these music symbols on the left corner uh, to indicate that you are running music. And uh, depending on your machine's performance, they will run a uh, different amount of time, but you should be able to finish in a few minutes. Okay, so would you like me, we're at on the old poll 77 to eight. So it looks mm -hmm. like most people got the previous task completed. Would you like me to clear the poll yeah, so we can? Good. Yeah, yes, yes. All right. And now if you've successfully gotten this far, um, please answer the poll again with a yes if, if you're this far. And if you need more time or if you're having trouble, then reply with no. Here we may see some separation just because of the varying speeds of different computers. Mm -hmm. And we see 56 to five. So um, at some point, let's see, we had almost 85 responses last time. So I think mm -hmm. that people are just not yeah, responding. It could take yet. a while because it, it runs, it will run, if you're using single core, then you need to run uh, a few minutes uh, to get the end. Sixty-three to five. So we're um, we've got about fifteen people who responded the last time who have not yet responded. Ticking up. So um, there's a request that you scroll up so they can see the command better. Oh, the command is also I just put in the lower part yeah. because there's many many lines. I don't <laughs> scroll up to the top. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, please, please go go to the school uh, GitHub page um, so that uh, all the commands are there. The channel for questions, okay. And we're now at 71 to five. So we have the same number of no's as we had less, ah, oh, we know we're now at six. We're, we're pretty close to where we were um, last mm -hmm. time. So I think it's good mm -hmm. to move on. So, so if you successfully run this um, command, uh, let's just take a look at um, the XML file just we just used to run to tell you what actually the ingredient to set up such run for your test runs. So that's also uh, has a kind of snapshot on the web page. Uh, so, so here I basically open the text file for you. Um, so what you see here, so the main ingredient here is that uh, we run one event. Uh, for the simulations with hydro. And here we use a fixed seed. So the seed number is 23. So if we set seed to zero, you'll get a random seed according to your system time. But if you use the other positive number, uh, you will get a fixed seed here. So what we do is basically in the simulation, we add Trento as our initial conditions, which will generate uh, in initial energy density uh, profiles uh, for us. And then these will be used to, to feed into hydro to do the simulations. 
And uh, in this case, for simplicity, we don't introduce any pre-equilibrium dynamics. So we use no pre-equilibrium pre dynamics as a dummy module to basically directly pass the energy density from Trento to hydrodynamics. In hydro, we basically only set the freeze out temperature to be 150, where we indicate that at that temperature we want to transform fluid cells into particles. So, so that's the only parameter you need to set. If you don't set that particles, you will get the warning from yesterday saying that these freeze out temperature is minus one, you get negative values there. But with, with the positive values, uh, you, will get, uh, you will get the hydro to properly, properly runs right now. So that's all the ingredients you need to set up to add modules in the JSCAPE framework to do uh, initial density uh, production from Trento and then feed them into music as a hydrodynamic code to do the simulations. So yeah, so these are actually noted in the, in the, in the, in the online notes. So the next step, which is uh, quite, I want to get through today is basically to open the Jupyter notebook and actually visualize what we have just run through the, through the simulations. Because if you just run Jetscape and you see the screen output, it doesn't give you any physical idea what is actually the, the simulation you simulate. So we want to use some visualization tool to help you to understand say the, how the temperature evolution is a function of time through the hydrodynamic simulations. In this case, we need actually to, to, to basically um, use uh, the tool that is called Jupyter Notebook. So, so if I switch to the, um, to the Chrome, uh, to my webpage, we are looking at basically this visualization with uh, Jupyter Notebook session. So that's the session I want to pass through today to help you set up the simulation that you can actually understand what they actually do the simulation with that. So, so the, the key command we would like to try to do today is, this, uh, is in, this, in this block. So basically inside the build folder, we would like to launch a Jupyter Notebook and then actually open in your browser. So, so if you want to do that, you first need to copy the first line of the command uh, into your terminal. So if I now switch to my terminal, So I basically copy the first line of the command, which will help me to launch a Jupyter Notebook in the background. So I don't want to have all the messages on my command line so that I still can type in there. So if I just hit enter, uh, I will basically launch a Jupyter Notebook in the background in there. And then if I now uh, uh, open the, the link on the notebook, uh, on the notebook.log, I can see the, the link that I, I need to open to, to actually access the Jupyter Notebook. So the, the link you want to do is basically copy the last line of these uh, messages. Basically this, uh, this, uh, this web page and then copy paste it to your, into your browser. If, if you're in Linux, your, your terminal support the direct link, you can just press control and click on the link and it will automatically open uh, the, the Jupyter Notebook uh, in your browser. And if you cannot recognize the link, you can just copy paste it into your, into your page. So let me pause here. I think uh, we need another poll here to make sure that uh, this is properly open. Okay, we had hit 75 to five. So I've um, reset the poll. And now if you have gotten this far, please yeah. um, answer the poll so again. You, yeah. So if you success open the Jupyter, no Jupyter Notebook, you will see some web page and some, some web page like this in your browser. And just be sure that you, when you do these two commands, you want to copy the last address to your browser.
we are at 35 to 8, so ticking up. So if you copy the thing, the whole pass, you should not be asked by the password. So if you if you are logging from your remote uh, using SSH, um, there's a possible that you may not be able to open the browser. Uh, you need to log in your SSH uh, server uh, using this command uh, with the with the port in the in there. We're at 45 to 10. If you hit to twice control C, you will get out of that. From the Jupyter book. But just try to do it on the, on the background instead of run on the front of your terminal. Because we still need a terminal uh, to run additional calculation tomorrow. So just run the Jupyter book on the background as it uh, says. And a reminder, um, if you post follow-ups to a previous comment, even if it's to a previous comment that you made, please um, write it as a thread so that it's easier to follow. We are at 50 to 11. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, there's a question about SSH command. So that's the command you need to, uh, to use when you log in to your remote server. So that's all before you do everything else. This all you need to do before outside your, uh, outside your Docker. We are at 53 to 11. So uh, I think that there's progress, but it's just taking people a few minutes. And a reminder to please post your questions in the Slack chat. We're at 56 to 11, so we've lost some people.
59 to 12. There have been a few um, questions on the Slack, a lot of them having to do with um, URLs not loading and um, issues with connections. Um, can I get uh, one of the TAs to sort of try to summarize the big issues that people are running into? Hello, can you hear me? Yep. Oh, awesome. It must have been a problem with my mic. Um, the biggest problem that we're really seeing so far in the uh, Slack channel is people trying to open the link, especially if it's not using Chrome. So there have been some problems with Firefox and Safari. Okay. And those will not work, so they need to use Chrome, or at least if they have Chrome, this would be the easiest um, way to do it. At least at the moment, it looks like Chrome is the easiest way to do it. It should work just fine in any browser. Yeah. So at least in my session, I have a backup plan. So, so even you cannot open the Jupyter notebook, there's a way to actually generate the plots. Um, but um, it's not, but I guess the future sessions rely on Jupyter notebook more. So, so you may want to also resolve that questions. If you even if now you cannot resolve it, there's a session called No Jupyter Notebook on my on my on my on my notes, so that if you cannot do that, you can basically use a raw Python script to generate the plots we want for this session. But definitely, um, I think for the future sessions, you may want to have the Jupyter Notebook uh, resolved. Okay, I think to stay on time, it may make sense to l ask people to try mm -hmm. to resolve this um, offline in the next 24 hours or so using the Slack chat and then move on mm -hmm. um, so that you can do the mm -hmm. assign the homework before we get mm -hmm. to Dima's part. Yeah. So yeah, so maybe, maybe just for all of us, uh, so we can try just uh, use the use the Python script instead of the Jupyter Notebook right now. Uh, if you have the Jupyter Notebook, you can open. Uh, for example, let me just say that if you have a Jupyter Notebook open, uh, you can just open the Hydro session inside the Jupyter Notebook. And then once you open that, you open the, the notebook called the Hydro Evolve Test Run. And if you click on that, you will get another web page which open this uh, Tadro test, uh, Hydro test, Evolve test run. And then the goal is basically um, to go through all the, all the cells in here to basically generate plots in terms of temperature evolutions, average flow velocities, and then eccentricities, as well as uh, and momentum and isotropies. So you can hit shift plus enter to execute every cells inside this notebook once it's launched. So that's the first instruction for those who actually successfully open the Jupyter notebook. You can start to basically interact with this notebook to, to, to try to see the evolution of temperature and et cetera. So for those who still have the problem, so you can go uh, to this folder. So you just copy this line to go to the hydro session. So you, so you want to, so let me just switch to the, to the, to the command line. So, so in the command line, I want to basically copy, I want to first go to, go to the hydro sessions. And inside the hydro sessions, I want to do Python 3. Uh, the hydro scripts. So 
these hydro evolved tests run dot py scripts. So it will run for a few seconds and it will generate and it will generate uh, a lot of PDF files, which is essentially the same PDF file that the Jupyter notebook will output. So we are at 63 to 12. Should we do another poll or, it, it, because it sounds like this is a workaround if people could mm -hmm. not get Jupyter Notebook to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's on the Zoom, people are saying that they cannot see what you're typing. Maybe you can make your screen bigger or oh, sorry. Show them because there's, it's impossible to see. Okay, even bigger. I can't see it with my old eyes. Okay, that looks better. Thank you. Okay, so what I do um, is I'm inside the inside the build directory. So I first cd to hydro session. I'm inside the hydro sessions. I will do Python three hydro evolve test run dot py. So it will run, run for a few seconds. So with this command, it will run for a few seconds and then generate the plots. So all the plots will be in PDF. So if you list the PDF file, you will see four PDF files, start with test run. So there was a comment that um, the um, the bottom of the terminal is covered by the zoom panel, but the way to fix that is to to oh. change the aspect ratio of. Um, so if you're seeing that issue, change the aspect ratio to make it narrower so that the bottom of the screen doesn't get covered by the different buttons in zoom. So I think this is not something you need to do, Chun, but the oh, users. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So are we pausing? So if I look at the poll, I've got 65 yeah. yeses mm -hmm. and 10 no's. So I think yeah. that is We can generate most another poll once you generate, yeah. So I guess the goal is to generate these four PDF files. So okay. there are two ways. If you have Jupyter Notebook, you can try just run through it you will get all the files generated and also they will be also on your web page. Um, if you don't have Jupyter Notebook, um, you can run the Python script inside the Hydro session by going into the Hydro session folder. Um, then you will have all these four here. And run the script, you'll get this. Mm -hmm. So I cleared the poll so people should say yes if they have those four PDFs.
So we're at 31 yes, 32 yeses and four noes. And then let me ask, Matt, can I ask you to jump in again and say if things, if, um, if it looks like things are working fine? Uh, we're still uh, working through a few issues with people getting their Jupyter notebooks to work. Um, something I'll just say here so everybody hears it is that um, you can run the, if you have Jupyter Notebook installed on your local machine, uh, some people are having more success running a Jupyter Notebook outside the container. Um, so please give that a try if you're still having trouble with your Jupyter Notebook. Could you maybe specify for people how they should do that? So a new terminal and then... Yeah, sure. Um, yesterday, James... Uh, suggested having one terminal in your container and one terminal outside your container. Um, that will still work well. Make sure you've navigated to the location where you've installed your um, Jetscape Docker folder and then follow the same um, instructions for Jupyter Notebook um, and it should work um, just fine. And you can evaluate that notebook cell by cell with shift enter. Okay, I have a 44 yeses and four noes. So yes, I saw yeah, there's a question about this JS Hydro on the on the Slack. Um, so if you see JS Hydro, which means that your 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 school material is out of date, um, so you need to pull the update the version. So you probably clone the school uh, directories before the before Sunday. Um, that was that was the case uh, before Sunday. And they update on Sunday last Sunday. There's a question, what are we supposed to do, this pool, do with this poll even if we are working with Jupyter? Um, even, even inside Jupyter, if you list your Hydro session after you successfully run, uh, you will also see these four PDF. Also, inside Jupyter Notebook, if you successfully run, you also see the plots immediately on the web page. So you can also click on yes if you see them on yeah. the web page. The poll is if you got the PDFs to be generated. And can I ask Chun, after we complete this, how much longer do, do we have before we get to the homework? Uh, we can just stop here. We can just stop here. Um, we can just stop here today. Um, so the goal is to just get familiar with this Jupyter Notebook part. Um, and then once we get through that tomorrow, we have two hours to go through the hands-on. And then the homework will be trivial once, you, once we go through the, uh, the hands-on part. It's okay, so you're the same as the, 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 the hands on section. So you're going to give the homework tomorrow, not today. Um, yeah, so it's, it's the same as the hand on basically. It's, uh, you can, I think, as a homework, you can go through, if you uh, you figure out the Jupyter notebook part, you can go through the, the readme uh, online, the online notes, just go through the example two, three, and four. That's essentially the homework. Okay. With the, with the link, with, with the description below. If you have problem, we'll go through that tomorrow for the two hour session uh, for this. Mm. Okay, so if this is the end, if, so you're saying wrap this section, this session up now. Yeah, I can wrap up right now. So we can, there's another, there's another script called movie, which will also make the movies. Um, so we can do that tomorrow and give the team a whole hour uh, for today.
but it's straightforward. Just still again, just running through the cells, you will see all the all the all the, all the plots. Yeah. Okay, because we should move to Dima when you're done. Mm -hmm. So, did you want to do the movie, or did you want to take a two-minute break? I I can stop here. So the movie can be done tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Then we will just give people a breather. We're going to come back at 11. So just a you know, two or three minute break. You either catch up um, or, uh, or just have a coffee. <laughs>